Welcome back to Hard Tag and Daughters, and we're on a roll today with our third video and our final video of this week. Um, uh, we might do another video, who knows? But uh, we don't plan on doing any more videos for the up for this week, um, the load up. So we're not going to blow up your uh, your news feed. Um, so we're going to go up here with project uh, our next project. Um, we're going to call it the Green Goblin uh, or the Green Grendel. How about that? We'll call it the Green Grendel. Um, but Rick, there's not all green here. Not a whole lot of green we're seeing yet. All right. Well, first off, we're going to build. Um, this is our 6.5 Grendel build. So we're going to start off here with a Bear Creek Arsenal um, in four feed ramps. Stainless steel, full length rifle, 6.5 Grendel, uh, one and eight twist, stainless steel. This is a 20 inch barrel. I'll show you the parts I got for the build first. And then, uh, you know, this will be part one of this build. Part two will be all, all those small stuff and some of the assembly, the, some of the assembly will be done when you see it. So this is the, uh, the barrel we got here. Um, again, it's 6.5 Grendel. Um, I look forward to shooting this gun when I get it. Our gas tube is a CMMG, full-length rifle gas tube. Not a whole lot especially there. We got us some green anti-rotation pins. Um, dog bones, I guess, is what I'll call them, dog bones. Um, they'll be on, the, on this build as well. We have our Anderson... Enhanced trigger, the nickel boron trigger set. Um, I really like these this 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 trigger these triggers from Anderson. They seem to work pretty well. I don't know what the the trigger pounds the pull is on it, but I like them. I think they're better than a standard AR trigger. Um, they're not as expensive as a, as the uh, as a two stage trigger and. Um, they feel good to me. I mean, it's everybody's personal preference, right? So, um, we got us a Magpul. I think this is the... Oh, uh, hell, I can't remember the name of this one. Anyways, this is an enhanced rubberized OD green um, grip. Pistol grip here. With a little cavity so you can store a couple rounds in there. At least three rounds, huh? Batteries, uh, extra cash, uh... Your hunting license, good idea. Keep it in there. It's rubberized, feels good. I like this grip. I got one on my, on Project Khaki, and I said I'm gonna get one on this. I might end up replacing all my other uh, non-standard uh, specialized grips that I got uh, with this, except on my um, uh, replica guns. So that's the our our, our pistol grip on our. Um, of course, you know this is a carbine length. I like the carbine springs. This is the flat spring and uh, two ounce buffer from Strike Industries, flat wire spring that we're going to be using in this build. Um, here's something new that I've never had, tried before. This is a Toolcraft uh, 6.5 Grendel bolt and nickel boron. Um, this thing is nice and slick. Let's see if we can see the uh, staking procedures there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There you go. Uh, don't look too bad stake wise. I've already took a hex head to them, tried to see if they'd move. They won't move. On something like this, if you don't like the, how your uh, gas key there is staked, just take you a screwdriver, another punch, and put this, chuck this up in your vise and just punch it over a little bit more. And that's all. Um, not a big deal. If you don't like the way it's staked, you can always do it better. I don't see nothing wrong with this. It'd be fine. Um, then again, it's got the 6.5 Grendel bolt head on there. Gas key, all nickel boron. Boy, this thing is... I mean, I don't know if y'all have had ever tried a nickel boron uh, bolt carrier group before. But man, I can't get over how slick this thing is. 
You won't need, hardly need any type of lubricant on it, really. It's slicker than owl snot, <laughs> as, as the old timers down here say. Uh, we got a green 15 inch handguard here. Uh, yes, I know it's got the key mod in it, but this is going to be um, um, a long range, maybe precision type rifle build that I'm doing. Budget one, I guess. Um, so I don't really care about the key, if it's got key lock or M lock. I got crap for both of them. Um, it's light, it's aluminum handguard. Um, I like the color of the green, the anodized green on there. And uh, so that's what we're going to be using as a handguard. Next up is the upper receiver. Uh, this is my go-to upper receiver. It's an Anderson. Um, I almost went with the Aerial Precision Enhanced um, upper receiver, but it would not accommodate this rail system, the, or this rail, this handguard that I'm using. So I didn't go with it this time. Maybe on the next build, I don't know. Um, I do have a Strike Industries Gold for assist in there. Um, kind of loud for what it is, isn't it? And then uh, we got some Arm Spec Tactical Advantage AR-15 Gun Builder Kit Lower Less Fire Control Group. Now, when I looked this up online... I um, saw that uh, it had the gold um, safety, and that's what I wanted. I didn't see the magazine release button and the pins at the time. If so, I probably would have just got this by itself. But for the price of this on some other websites, I got this for like $10 cheaper than just buying the safety by itself. Or the select <clears throat> the selector by itself. So um, it's got everything in there. I don't know if I'll you I won't use this because I got an anodized green parts coming for the for this section here and for the dust cover. That's why this doesn't have a dust cover on. It's going to have an anodized green gut dust cover. Um, and again, you're going to say, why are you going to call it the Green Goblin when it's got you got some gold yellow parts looking on there. Uh, wait a minute, let me get to the lower receiver. Um, and you'll understand why. So, this is where we're at. What's this? Um, it comes with your standard um, bolt release, uh, Allen tools, your uh, pin, your, you know, all your springs, blah, blah, blah. All your lower stuff that you need. Um... I think this is a good kit. And they do make it in other colors if you're interested in them. So, arm spec. All you have to do is tactical advantage arm specs. Check them out. Um, so, yeah, the flash went out on the phone. Low battery. So, that's what that is. We'll have to speed this one up a little bit. So... That's the lower kit we're going to use. So now I'm going to show you the receiver. Oh, now you see the yellow. But well, where's the green? Now you see the green. So this is a Spikes Tactical lower receiver. It's got the, uh, the trigger guard already built into it. So I don't get to put, put anything on there, which is sad because I ordered one and I didn't do it. Didn't realize that. To look too late, so we got um, our safe position here. We got our free position, and then we got our Ohio Ola snack bar, Aloha snack bar, and then we got our pineapple grenade. If you're a World War II fan, Vietnam pineapple grenades. Ha ha! There's your green. There's your, your yellow pineapple. So this is the theme of the gun. It's going to be yellow and green, mainly green with yellow. Uh, or gold um, uh, accents. The sad thing is that just because it's got a position there and so it would be full auto, this is not, I repeat, not a full auto lower receiver. It's not milled out for it. 
and it will not be a full auto it's going to be semi-automatic only chambered in 6.5 Grendel this is the second time I'm using a Spikes tactical um, lower receiver I used one on the baby ice project on my AR9 project um, so far this one seems to like any magazines that I stick in it so we got us a green Dural Mag magazine here. Yes, this is one of the magazines I'm going to use for it. So yeah, we ain't got no problems with that fitting. Um, let's see what else we got. We can stick in there. Uh, even though this is a 350, uh, 350 Legend magazine. See, yeah, now that's a little... Now look how tight that is. It still falls out though. But anyway... It's there. It's coming out. Let's see here. Oh, we got a standard black Korean AR mag. Let's see how that bad boy fits in there. Yep. It's definitely a little bit tighter than the than the Sea Defense mag, or that was a Dura mag. This is a Dura mag. I hadn't done a review on that yet. Let's see if it'll hold our yellow banana magazine. Now look at that. It will not. It does not like that. Hmm, maybe that's because of the yellow paint that's on it. Interesting. This is a GI mag from uh, 2003. And it was just scraping that off. That goes to my, back to my theory on, here's another Dura mag and F, FDE. Let's see if that goes in there fine. Nice and fine. Hmm. Maybe I wouldn't hold my mouth right here. Let's see this again. No. That thing is tight. Or this is out on the back, huh? Anyway, regardless, it doesn't like the yellow ban banana mag. Maybe because it's not a Jaquita and it's a Del Monte mag. Ha! Who knows? Anyway, um, like I said, on my other Spike Tactical Lower, they have tight tolerances for their magazine wells. Obviously they got it for their their ARs. Look at that. It's scraping the paint off that off the yellow one. Interesting, isn't it? But then again, here we go. We got the old uh, no problem there. No problem here on the green mag. No pro well we know it's got a problem on that one. It doesn't like that one. Uh, the old black steel Korean mags. Not a problem. <coughs> what about a P mag? A little bit tighter on the P-Mag, but still no problem. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to get butt hurt over this. I can't use my banana mag. Oh, well. I can't use it anyway. This is going to be 6.5 Grendel. Um, <laughs> so it wouldn't have worked all that great to begin with. So, yeah. This is our Spikes Tactical lower receiver. Our upper receiver. Um, our hand guard. Oh, the, and let me show you the barrel nut on this one. And there's our barrel nut. It is aluminum as well. No, it's steel. It's steel. Um, so, there we go. So, stay tuned for part two. Hopefully sometime next week when the rest of my parts come in, I'll be able to uh, show you a little bit more. Or part three, I'll show you the final build. Part two will be uh, some of the parts being in, are already installed. Of course, you can't show that on YouTube. They get mad about it. So we'll catch you guys next time. Check us out on all social media accounts. And um, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Help us grow. Y'all be safe.